when the Nuggets first released this jersey in 1981, it was actually designed by a fan who won a competition. It's since become iconic with the rainbow and the skyline with the mountains. So when it first came out, it this was the road color and this was the home colorway. Now, the reason I have this jersey in the middle is that, as you can see, this is number 11, and that is Chris Anderson. So he clearly came after Dikembe Mutombo. So we, we're starting with this one. This is a Mitchell and Ness jersey, hardwood classic. You got the felt on the drop tag here. That's how one of the ways you would know this is a true authentic, not a fake. Hardwood classics, authentic here. They no longer say authentic like this right here. They say it like on a separate piece within the, this kind of tag. But this came out a little bit before that. I think that's the only change on the newer run, Mitchell and Ness. Nostalgia Co., Mitchell and Ness, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is a 44 large. You can see sublimated into the material nuggets. This whole thing is sublimated into the material. No stitching. And no heat press. This is all sublimated right into the mesh. Our stitching comes in right here. And as you can see, the outer, the outer border of yellow is stitched. And then you, I believe that entire thing is just stitched on. It's a one patch. So the white, the blue, and the yellow is all stitched on together. Although it looks like three separate layers. Okay. This is all put together and then it's stitched on, but it's very heavy. It's a heavy patch and it's very heavily stitched on. Like this, this would never come off here. Okay. The stitching is very strong. NBA logo. Let's take a look on the inside. You can see that it's just stitched one time here. Still got all the tags on it actually. So why not take a look? Hardwood Classics, Mitchell and Ness tag. I got to wear this this summer. Okay. Size 44, large. Again, Mitchell and Ness. And a very thick jersey. Just very heavy. That's, that's how their authentic jerseys are, guys. Very thick, very quality. You can see the slit here is how it opens up. Let's take a look at the back. Matumbo, single stitched. And look at this. Huge numbers on the back. Again, all this is one part of one patch stitched on right over that rainbow, sublimated, beautiful. As we make our way over here, they were used for these seasons right here. They brought it back in 2003, 2004, and that's what this jersey is. So that's why I have this jersey in the middle. <laughs> I hope that's not too confusing. We've got the Adidas logo stitched on on one side and the NBA logo. If you'll notice, it's not the same color it's darker it's 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 a little less vibrant because it's the hardwood classics jerry west logo look at the blue and look at the red and look at the white even it's like a darker white versus the vibrant blue and red and white of this one they do that on the hardwood classics and they still even do that on the new nike today here's the other tagging made in honduras Extra large. You can see the stitching here. So unlike the Mitchell and Ness, this part is stitched. This part is sublimated. This part is stitched. This is single stitched with a fake double stitch. 
So these lines, I wish they wouldn't do that shit. <laughs> to be honest, I'd rather have it. If you're gonna single stitch it, fine. Don't do the double stitching, but don't give me a fake one. I don't need to see these, you know, little lines here just so from far away, maybe it looks double stitched. Same thing on the numbers, fake inside yellow stitch. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the back. The one little thing I missed here was this little guy here on the side. Anderson for Chris Anderson. And um, now on the back, you've got the white outer layer stitched on the number with the blue fake stitching. So that's just how they did them back then, guys. On the OG Swingmans, the name on the back is just stitched one time. So no need for a fake stitch here. Very clean. Let's get to our third jersey. And that is a jersey I just picked up. Actually had to order it custom on the Nuggets website. Don't ask, okay? <laughs> Why did I want Paul Millsap? Okay, you asking? Okay, no problem. He's a four-time All-Star. I know he's, you know, coming off the bench now. At the time, I think he was still starting. This took many months, like, I don't know, um, about two months to arrive. <laughs> you, know, you, waited, you waited two months for a Paul Millsap jersey. I love this cutaway here, okay? This is a new Nike Authentic. We're going to see that everything is right into the jersey. Nothing here is, um, I'm sorry, this is stitched on as a separate piece here. This whole flap here, though, is stitched on across. But all this design here, that's just part of the fabric. That's dyed. That's dyed into the fabric. Okay. And for the numbers, we've got single stitching with perforated holes. I do have the sponsor patch since I got it from the Nuggets store. The Vapor Knit. This is a size extra large made in Thailand. Stitched on Nike sign. Typical stuff. Everything typical of your new Nike authentic jersey. Okay. Tagging. 5280. I believe that's the number of feet that the altitude is. That's the number of feet in a mile. The mile high city. Get it? Denver. Yeah. Size 52, extra large, authentic, plus two. Everything's plus two for the retail. Um, so that's the jock tag. You see how it opens up there. Different kind of slit on these new Nike authentics. Now, one difference is that instead of saying nuggets, it says Denver. Got Denver single stitched here. And let's take a look at the back. Rubber Jerry West um, logo. No championships. Womp womp. <laughs> single stitched Millsap. Name on the back. Single stitch number with the perforated holes. And you can see right through to these stripes here. The rest is mesh, guys. And that does it for this jersey. So what do you think about this? Is this a good colorway, a, a good version of the Nugget Skyline theme? They also had a black one. Did you like that one? And before that, they had a white one. We take a quick look back at how thick, you know, look at how, how thick the red and the orange and the, the yellow, the blue, the green and the blue and the purple are versus how thin this is. It works on this one. It's kind of like the sun. I liked it on the black. I don't know if I loved it, but on the white, I wasn't crazy about it. Let me know what you guys think and about this whole rainbow, you know, theme. I think it's one of the more classic jerseys that's ever come out. But let me know what you guys think. Is it one of the top jerseys of all time? And what do you think about the newer version of it? Okay, let me know in the comments. See you guys in the next video, guys.